Hi, I'm Tom Brookshire. And I'm Pat Summerall. Now that we're into the second half of the season, Tom, it might be a good time to try and analyze the top teams and see why they're on top. Well, Pat, uh, Miami 8-0 and, and Washington 7-1 and are the two teams with the best records, and they do have several things in common. One is that it doesn't seem to matter much who's really the quarterback. Both the Dolphins and Redskins have defensive units with a few big names, but they have virtually no weak points. They just both play great defense. Well, they do. And on offense, they both seem to rely principally on their runners. And do they ever have the runners? And do they ever. Larry Brown and Charlie Haraway and Butch and the Sundance and Mercury Morris down in Miami, they're just unbelievable. They are. A couple of weeks ago, the Buffalo Bills scared the seaweed out of the Dolphins by almost beating them. But last week in Buffalo, Miami proved to the Bills that although they are in the same division, they're not really in the same league. They are tied for third with New England coming into today's game with a two and five record, but uh, they, they really get up. Everybody does now for the Dolphins, the only unbeaten team left in the NFL. This is Miami coach Don Shula, a man who is bidding to become the first ever to lead a team to victory in every game of its season. And Coach Shula is making his bid without his ace of Trump, the injured Bob Greasy. Replacing Greasy at quarterback is the wily veteran Earl Morrill. Dolphins will have Earl Morrill at quarterback. Donka and uh, Dick will be the running back. Howard Pulley lines up as a wide receiver to the far side. Doug Poussin and Norm Evans are the tackles. Meyer Plumbing the tight end. Howard Twilley and Paul Warfield, the wide receivers, Bob Kuchenberg and Larry Little, the guard, Jim Langer, the center. Dick Weaver, Luke Quickmer, and Henry Barrow back at War Memorial Stadium in Buffalo, New York. The Dolphins looking for their eighth consecutive win on this season, their ninth in the last two years, and trying to give Don Shuley his 99th career coaching victory. Here's the handoff, going to Zonka, fights his way over the left side, and he gets only about two yards to the 47-yard line. Down just outside the Bills 20 yard line. Here's a handoff to Morris inside. He goes across the 20 down to about the 18 yard line. From the Bills 18 on second down. Morrill play fake. Goes back to throw, has time and out. It's a Jackson Blake down and he's thrown for a loss. Back the 26 yard line. Third down and 16 Dolphins ball at the Bills 26 yard line. Mercury Morris just broke a 37 yard split around the near side. Which it appeared he was out of bounds, but the official said no. All right, Warfield foot far side, fully comes to the near side. Kick and Zonka are the split back. In behind Earl Morrow. Morrow drops back to throw on third and long yardage. He's set. He's firing deep for Twilly. In the end zone, overthrown and complete. So that brings up a fourth down and 16, and Gary, your Fleming and field goal team comes on. A 33-yard attempt for Gero. Waiting for the snap from center. Here it is. Step down. The kick is up. He's got the distance. It is perfect. With 10 minutes and 16 seconds left to go in the first quarter, Dolphin football action continues from Buffalo, New York, with a score of Dolphins 3 and the Buffalo Bills nothing. It'll be a third down and 7. The ball at the Miami 43-yard line. 7 minutes, 52 seconds to go in the first quarter. Miami leads 3 nothing. Shaw drops the throw. He fires, and it is caught by Harrison. 35, gets away from Johnson, cuts to the middle. 30, takes the tackler, and he has does it inside the 30 at the 27-yard line. Dwight Harrison, a little hook pattern to the near sideline. Dick Anderson is the man who finally brought him down, and Curtis Johnson let him get away. On the near sideline, he just stepped right away, just stepped right away from Curtis Johnson on the near side, cut to the middle, and was bouncing off tacklers and Anderson perhaps saved the touchdown. That ball, as the ball is at the 27, he picked up 15 yards as Shaw hits Dwight Harrison. Rick, we haven't seen Dwight Harrison too much uh, game down in Miami, but boy, that boy can really move. Great moves out there. He scored a touchdown against us while he was with the Denver Broncos last year in the opening game of the season. Here is Shaw, drop play. Simpson up the middle, cuts back to his left. He is hit inside the 20, knocked down to the 19-yard line. O.J. picked up eight. A tackle on the play for the Dolphins, made by Bob Matheson, and uh, Simpson is shaken up on the play, comes limping. 
off to the near sideline. Henry, that's what we were going to say, Rick. It appears to be his right ankle or right calf. Uh, they're working on him on the bench. We'll keep an eye over there. Rick, they're taping Simpson's right ankle down there over the shoe. Looks like he'll probably be going right back in as soon as they get a chance. The Dolphins may have no-name defense now with the pressure on them early. Miami leads 3-0, but uh, Shaw has his ball front moving. The ball up the Dolphins, 14. It'll be a third down and eight. Four to Bills. Bills moving from our right to our left. They're getting right down into the area of the other post. Harrison splits left. Field to the far side. Chandler slot man right. Here is Shaw dropping back to throw. He fires. It is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Randy Jackson, number 33, the rookie running back from Wichita State. He just landed over the middle. Caught the ball, took off Dick Anderson, and the Bills are on the board. Ten plays, 62 yards, a 14-yard touchdown pass, scoring play, from Dennis Shaw to rookie Randy Jackson. Waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down. Kick is blocked. It is no good. Kick is blocked. And so, it is now a 6-3 ball game with 3 minutes and 52 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Dolphin football action continues from Buffalo, New York, with a score. The Bills, six, our Dolphins, three. John Light, Lightboat, number three, will kick off as uh, Mercury Morris and Charlie Lee, number 22, Morris off to the uh, far side, and uh, Lee, number 23, down to the near side. The third receive the kickoff. Here it is against the wind. It is high, not too deep. Morris grabs it at the eight, straight ahead of the 10, the 15 to the 20, breaks for the far side, out the open, 30, 35, and he's knocked down at the 37-yard line. Second down and six, Dolphin football at their 42. Two minutes, 50 seconds to go in the first quarter, Bills lead six to three. Kick and Zock in the eye behind Earl Morrill. The ball at the Miami 42-yard line. Earl on the handoff, go ahead to Zonka, hole over the side, 40, 50, down to the 45, down to the Bills, 41-yard line, bust the bull, Larry Zonka, for his biggest carry of the day, and a first down for the Dolphins at the uh, Bills, 41, the tackle made by strong safety, Maurice Tyler, and on the play, Larry Zonka rambles for 16 yards, and the Dolphins pick up a first down, now they put it down at the 42. The Dolphins with the most potent ground game in the National Football League coming into this ball game, and this has been the one area on defense, where the Bills have broken down, stopping the rush. The ball at the Bills' 22-yard line. 18 seconds left to go in the first quarter. First down, Dolphins at the Bills' 22. Morris and Zonka, the eye backs, and behind Morrow. Warfield splits a couple of yards to the left side. Waiting for the snap from center. Morrow on the count. Hands off to Morris. Through a hole to the right side. Breaks the tackle to the 15, down to the 10. Still going to the 5. They score! What a tremendous effort by Mercury Morris. He pounded the right side. There was no hold. Split off a tackle. Bounced off another one at the 15. Was hit again at the 10. Carried a man with him from the 5 on into the end zone. A tremendous effort by Morris. A 22-yard scamper. Five plays, uh, 62 yards. And Morris, a 22-yard uh, touchdown run. That's the end of the first quarter. Uh, we have no time showing on the clock. They haven't changed ends of the field yet. Now here they go. That's the end of the first quarter. Dolphin football action continues from Buffalo, New York, with a score, our Dolphins 10 and Buffalo 6. As the ball is placed down at the 22, and so the fourth down punting situation comes up. The line of scrimmage is the 22 in Buffalo territory. Jones standing back at about the 8-yard line, kicking with the wind. Was back, a low, a low snap, he's going to run with the ball. Now he kicks it out of there, and he gets it off the side of his foot, goes out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. Yeah, of course, that uh, bad snap which uh, precipitated just a six-yard punt by Jones. He had a run out, and it uh, looked like he was going to run. He got behind the pole, and then uh, Foley came in and really forced him. And he gets off a six-yard punt. The Dolphins have excellent field position and at the Bills' 28-yard line. That drive by Buffalo wound up a minus 13 yards in four plays. That's how tough the Dolphin defense was. It'll be a third down and four for the Dolphins for a first down. Actually, about three and a half, just inside the Bills' 10. 10 yards to go for score. Mike Stratton, the linebacker, is moving around on each play for Buffalo. Warfield splits to the near side, 20 to the far side. Morris and Zonka, the split back. On a third and four from the Buffalo 10. Morrow drops the throw, getting a good rush. He fires. It is incomplete. Warfield couldn't hold on to it. So that brings up a fourth and four for a first down. The ball is at the Buffalo 10. This will be a 17-yard attempt, and Earl Morrow will hold. Here it is, set down, the kick is up. It is perfect. 
And so, with 11 minutes and 9 seconds to go in this second quarter, Dolphin football action continues from Buffalo, New York, with a score, our Dolphins 13 and Buffalo 6. Rick Weaver back at Buffalo, New York. That kick by Jones that time, just 28 yards, and he got a good rush, just barely got it out of there. Anderson got about a half-yard return. We'll say it's nothing. And the ball, Dolph, Dolphins will start from their 48-yard line. Morrow has thrown us three times this afternoon and completed one. That's a mandate for 13 yards. Warfield splits to the near side, fully to the far side. Kick and talk of the split back behind Morrow. From our 48, Earl drops the throw. Flips as he fires. He completes the pass to Morrow Fleming at the Buffalo 30. Gets the block. Down the near side, 25 to the 20 yard line. Goes marvelous Marv. Got a good block up front and gets down to the 21 yard line. Seven minutes, five seconds to go in the first half. Dolphins lead 13 to six. Fully splits right. Warfield comes to the near side. Kick and Zonka are the split backs behind Morrill. Third and uh, three from the Bills nine. Morrill drops the throw. He fires. It is up at the goal line. Intended for Jim Kick. And it was a swing pass as he was coming out of the backfield, and the ball just overlet him, and he had to dive for it to bounce right off his fingertips at the goal line. So that brings up another uh, fourth down situation, and Garrell comes in to try his third field goal of the afternoon. He has field goals of 33 and 17 yards. Last year, he kicked five in this game up here, and this will be a 16-yard attempt down here at the uh, west end zone. Snap, set down, the kick is up, and it's good. That drive, 41 yards in six plays, and again, it was set up by a short punt. So the Dolphins now with a 10-point lead, 16-6. to six. That is not enough for a first down, and it will force them into a field goal try, and uh, Leipold, the field goal kicking specialist, comes in. The right-footed straight-in kicker, Bob Chandler, will hold. This will be a 27-yard attempt, waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down, the kick is up. He's got the distance. It's no good. So we have two minutes and 38 seconds to go in this first half as the Dolphins will take over at our 20-yard line, moving from our right to our left. Second down and six, Dolphins from our 24-yard line. Morrow on the snap, drops the throw, he sets up, fires over the outstretched hand, picked off by Tony Green, 40, 35, 30, 20, 15 to the 10, 5, touchdown, Buffalo. Tony Green, the right cornerback, a second-year man, number 43 from Maryland State, picked that pass off to the 40, had nobody lay a hand on him down the near sideline, that's for Morrill, his third interception. We had just remarked that Earl got that pass away. I believe it was intended for Warfield, uh, over the outstretched hands of the pass rusher. And he threw it from too high, and Green picked it off, and they're in for a quick six. With two minutes and one second left to go. In this first half, it's now a 16 to 13 ball game. This Buffalo team, uh, you know, takes something like that, Lou, with that pass interception. Uh, you've had it happen many times to you in a ball game. Uh, really turns the momentum around. Yes, Rick, they've got to be really fired up down there right now. You can rest assured that they're going to come in there and really give Earl their, his hands full when he tries to get that ball off. And Shaw now has a third down and ten situation. Dennis has put the ball in the air ten times, has completed five. Unofficially, the ball at the Bills, 44. And those three field goals by Gary Afremi and Loom ever large at this stage of the ball game. We've got Chandler and Harrison split left. Hill to the near side. Here's the pitch to Simpson. Out to the right side. The 50. The 45. 40. He is down the near side line. And they say he's out of bounds. At the Dolphins 36. OJ on the pitch to the right side. To the near side. And he gets good yardage of first down. For the Bills. Gives a good field position. 20 yards. For Simpson on the scamper. They have only one timeout remaining. 13 seconds showing on the clock. The ball is at the Dolphins, 21, with a second down and 10. They break out of the huddle. Harrison splits left to the near side. Chandler and Hill. Braxton and Simpson are the splitbacks. Behind Shaw, he drops the throw. He is being rushed. He fires. It is intercepted, I believe, by the Dolphins at the 10-yard line after it being deflected in the air. Yeah. Let's Miami see who ball. got it. Getting up with a football, looks like uh, Tim Foley, Rick. Tim Foley, and the ball is at the 10-yard line as the gun runs out. And that's the end of a wild first half with the score. Our Dolphins 16, Buffalo 13. We've just started this uh, second half. Miami, thus far in this uh, second half, keeping the ball on the ground. 
Rick, it looks like Monty Clark and the rest of the coaches really did their job at halftime. The offensive line there doesn't look like there, there's any confusion whatsoever on which man to take on this six-man line we've been talking about with these linebackers dropping in. He uh, started this drive from their 20-yard line following the opening kickoff of the second half. Big play here for the Dolphins in this drive. Miami leads 16-13. Third down at about two and a half from the Bills' 47-yard line. They set in the tight formation with Warfield, a wingman right. On the snap, the handoff goes to Zonka. He puts his head down, rams his way to the 45. And I don't think that's going to be enough for a first down. He's about a half yard shy. He called a timeout, and then suddenly the yellow flag drops. And Buffalo gets penalized 15 yards on court for my conduct. The Dolphins get a first down at the Buffalo 30-yard line. 10 minutes, 45 seconds to go in the third quarter. Miami leading 16 to 13. Morrow with a sustained drive going. This will be booing. The fans. We went through this in the Buffalo game at Miami two weeks ago. All right, Morrow up under center. Waiting for the snap. Morris is back in there at a running back. Long count at the line of scrimmage by Earl. Here's the handoff going to Zonka. Sweep to the left. 25. Down to the 20. He drags the tackle with him to the 15-yard line. And they're going to say he was officially down at the 16. That'll be a first down. Larry Zonka picking up 14 yards. The tackle made by cornerback Leon Gerard. Number 47, first down for the Dolphins at the Bills' 16-yard line. 14 yards on the pickup for Zonka. All right, first down, Miami at the Bills' 16, fully out of the huddle, switch right, Warfield at the near side, the fans still set up the uh, Buffalo uh, Raspberry. Morris and Zonka to split back, then behind Morrow. First down from the Bills' 16-yard line. Waiting for the snap from center. Morrow hands to Morris, into the middle, he goes, he's down to the 10, cuts to his left, he's got the five, dragging a tackler with him, and he's filled at the four-yard line. Mercury Morris, a Tasmanian devil, a whirling dervish through the middle this afternoon as he picks up another first down, down to about the Buffalo four-yard line. Leon Guerrero, the quarterback, had him by one arm, but Mercury was taking him right with him. And so the Dolphins pick up a first and goal down at the Buffalo four. The ball is placed down back at the Buffalo seven-yard line, where it'll be a second down and goal. The Dolphins need a touchdown here. We've been down close here a couple of times before earlier in the ball game and have had to settle for field goals. This Buffalo defense has been tough, and the fans set up the defense. Defense can't. All right, out of the huddle they come. Morris and Zonka, the split back. In behind, Morrow from the seven-yard line on second down. Here's the fake handoff. Earl rolls for his right. He throws. It is caught for a touchdown. Mar Fleming. Mar Fleming is the man who caught it right in behind the post, and we had to wait for a moment until we could uh, certify as to who the receiver was. Marv Fleming gets his first touchdown of the season as Morrow sprinting out to his right hits Marvin with a strike. At Miami Drive, 80 yards, 11 plays. That 15-yard on sportsman-like conduct penalty. Morrow hits the uh, seven-yard touchdown pass to Marv Fleming. Dolphin football action continues as Morrow used up about seven minutes on that drive. 8.19 left to go in this third quarter. Dolphin football action continues from Buffalo, New York with the score. Our Dolphins 23 and Buffalo 13. For uh, Buffalo, it'll be a third down and eight. Bill's ball at the Miami 23. Simpson so far unofficially 10 carries for 40 yards. Harrison, Chandler split left. Hill to the near side. Simpson and Jackson, the split back. Here's the handoff to Jackson over the right side. He's done, not going to get very far. Gets to about the 21, and that's all. So here comes the field goal unit. Doug Swift really, uh, really nice underneath and hit him. They put the ball down at about the 21-yard line. So we're going to get a field goal attempt at some 28 yards by Leipold who missed one earlier. Snap set down, the kick is up, he's got the distance, and this time it's good. This time it's perfect, with four minutes and 36 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Dolphin football action continues from Buffalo, New York, with the score, our Dolphins 23 and Buffalo 16. That drive, 60 yards, six plays, and a 28-yard field goal by Lifeboat. And again, Buffalo has scored uh, just about as many points on the Dolphins this ball game, as anybody, over the two ball games that we played these guys, they have been able to put points on the board. That's the end of the third period. Dolphin football action will continue for Buffalo with a score, Miami 23, Buffalo 16. The Dolphins thus far have been able to contain Simpson. The ball is at the Buffalo 28. And uh, here comes that fifth defensive back in as Mona County goes out. The ball at the Buffalo 28, second down and nine. Dolphins lead by a touchdown. Hill splits right, Chandler slot man right, Harrison slot man, or wide receiver left. Now here comes Chandler in motion. 
Off to the near side. Shaw drops the throw. Has time. Firing deep. It is knocked away and picked off by Jake Scott. Golf in 45. The 50 and he's thrown to the ground at the Buffalo 47. Curtis Johnson broke that play up. It was intended for Dwight Harrison down the near sideline. And getting double coverage that time was Harrison. Curtis Johnson, his right corner, knocked the ball away. And Jake Scott grabbed the deflection back of the Dolphin 45 and runs it to the Buffalo 48-yard line. And that's where the Dolphins will put the ball in play. As there's a timeout on the field, Dolphin football action will continue in one minute to score. Miami 23, Buffalo 16. All right, Morrow brings the ball club out. We have seven minutes, five seconds to go. The Dolphins need a score here, leading by just uh, seven, 23 to 16. Kick and Zonka in the eye. Behind Morrow from the Buffalo 48-yard line. Here's the pitch going to kick. Sweep to the left side. He turns the corner down to the 40. He's at the 35. Puts his head down and rams his way to the 30-yard line. Jim Kick with a great effort and some excellent blocking in front. Norm Evans was over there. You have never, at least I have never, felt safe in this ball game. Ball at the Bills 29 on second down and we'll call it seven. Here's the fake handoff. Play action. Morrow dropping the throw. He is firing. It is caught by Morris. And he's inside the five-yard line and just was prevented from getting into the end zone by a fine defensive play. And they put it down at the Buffalo three-yard line. And he just about got in for the score, 26 yards on the pass completion. What a tremendous play Morris made on that pass reception for Morrow. They line up in the eye. They got the two tight ends in. Morris and Zonka, the running backs from the Buffalo four. Here's the fake to Zonka. Pitch to Morris. Sweep right. He is down to the goal line. Did he get in? He did. Touchdown, Miami. Mercury Morris says he was hit right at the goal line. Any part of that ball gets into the end zone. And Morris scores his second touchdown. And Robert James, who made the tackle, is laid out on the field. Mercury's limping going off the field, Rick. That for Morris is his second touchdown of the ball game. Scored one earlier from 22 yards out. And gives him now a total of six on the season. The Dolphins have really grounded out on the ground, 235 yards to Buffalo's 69. Three minutes and 55 seconds left to go in this ball game, and the Dolphins lead by a score of 30 to 16. And uh, unless Buffalo, of course, there's a lot of time left, unless they can pull something off here, the Dolphins will have won their ninth consecutive ball game, a new club record, including the final regular season win over Green Bay last year, their eighth straight this year equaling their in-season uh, longevity uh, winning streak of eight last year and will have given Don Shula his 99th career win. We have some people now starting to leave the ball game. Clock stops with the incompletion. Two minutes and 40 seconds left to go. Second and 10, Bill's ball at their 39. Shaw drops the throw. He is going to be caught, breaks out of the pocket, caught again, and caught again for the third time and finally down back at the Buffalo 30-yard line. Vern Denherter who has had three sacks for the quarterback today now. Unofficially, he was hit a couple of times by the Dolphins' pass rush. Dan Phil Fernandez also in there. Pulled him up, and Denherter finally brought him down for a big loss back to the 30-yard line. So it'll be third down and 19. Here is Shaw, quick in, in the middle. It is caught, but not to, for nearly a enough yardage for the first down up to the 34-yard line by Bob Chandler, and so the punting unit comes on. Time is in, third down and uh, eight for the Dolphins. Ball at their 35. Here is the handoff around the right side. Ginn gets the corner turn. 40, 45, up to the 50-yard line. Runs Hubert Ginn, who can go. He can carry the mail, and he uh, rambles for about 15 yards, and that's good for a first down. Clock moving with 28 seconds, 27 seconds. Earl Morrow has gone all the way. Quarterback handoff to Hubert Ginn. He's knocked down at the Buffalo 48-yard line. Buffalo still has a timeout remaining. The Dolphins have this one wrapped up after a hard struggle. 30 to 16. Nine seconds, eight seconds. Apparently, they're not going to take advantage of the timeout, and the clock is just going to be allowed to run out. The Dolphins have won their eighth in a row this season, their ninth over two years, and Don Shula has uh, been given his 99th career coaching victory. It wasn't easy. The final score, our Dolphins 30, the Buffalo Bills 16.